Thank you for joining us for Midweek Prayer. It's good to be back with all of you. I hope you were challenged and heard from God as you fasted and prayed over the past few weeks. If you have a minute, place in the comments the thing that you fasted from so that I'll know what we together fasted from. And I pray that it was a time that drew you closer to Christ. As we gather here today, may this be a place where we can connect with God, with each other, as we join our hearts in prayer. During our time of prayer, I will pray specifically for joys and concerns that you have shared with the church over the past week. Um, if you have additional joys or concerns that you would like us to pray specifically for or over, please submit those to us. Uh, by replying to this post or by emailing one of the email addresses on the screen or calling the church office. And then we will pray specifically for these requests that are received over the next week, next Wednesday, during our time of midweek prayer. Today I invite you to take a moment and just breathe. Take a deep breath in and let it out slowly. Now hear these words from the message, which is a paraphrase. We'll be reading from Psalm 78, verses 1 through 8. Listen, dear friends, to God's truth. Bend your ears to what I tell you. I'm chewing on the morsel of a proverb. I'll let you in on the sweet old truths, stories we heard from our fathers, counsel we learned at our mother's knee. We're not keeping this to ourselves. We're passing it along to the next generation. God's fame and fortune, the marvelous things he has done. He planted a witness in Jacob set his word firmly in Israel, and then commanded our parents to teach it to their children so the next generation would know, and all the generations to come. Know the truth and tell the stories so their children can trust in God. Never forget the works of God, but keep his commands to the letter. Heaven forbid they should be like their parents, bullheaded and bad, a fickle and faithless bunch who never stayed true to God. May God add his blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. If you want to know more about that story, check out the rest of that psalm. You will be blessed. Let us pray together. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in us the fire of thy love. Your love has brought us together, O Lord, and it is your love that sustains us through each day. What a joy it is to stop and just for these moments, commune with you to listen and to share our hearts. We confess that we have not always been obedient. We have not heard your call or we have ignored it. We failed to love our neighbors in the ways that you call us to. Forgive us for the times that we've turned from you. Come to us again, O oh God. Awaken us with your unexpected grace. Shock us with your daring mercy. Lift us up from lethargy and set our feet on your path once more. Stir up within us a hunger to know you more. Lord, for those who grieve today, for those who are battling covid or cancer, or other illnesses, for those who are lonely 
and for those who are celebrating today. Hear the cries of our hearts and cry with those who are suffering. Rejoice with those who are rejoicing. Always we are aware of how much the world needs you. We pray today for those in our community. We pray for persons and leadership across our country that together we, make, we may make wise decisions. We pray for those who are rebuilding after wildfires have destroyed their home or their land. We pray for brothers and sisters around the world whose lives are torn apart by war. Today, we especially want to pray for the people that others have asked us to pray for. We pray for Keith and Judy Newcomer as they both battle COVID. Lord, we pray for the family of David Bumgardner, the family of Don Dowdy, the family of Steve Doney. Lord, we pray for Pastor Alfredo and our brothers and sisters in Nicaragua. Holy God, we remember that you have promised that nothing will separate us from your love, demonstrated to us in Christ Jesus. Help us turn our eyes, our hearts, and our minds to you. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you in digital, in-person, or drive-in worship on Sunday at 930. Please don't forget to call the office to RSVP if you are planning to attend in-person worship. And then I'll join you back here next week week for midweek prayer.